Pika Text to Video AI got an upgrade. It's now version 1.5. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create AI videos on Pika's website. And you'll learn about the new tools and effects that Pika's added. I'll even show you how to animate your own images with Pika. Pika is a text to video and an image to video AI generator. This means you can prompt videos from scratch or upload a still image, either a photo or an AI generated image, and you can animate it. The latest version improves on realism and has smoother movements. Version 1.5 is a serious upgrade to version 1.0. Also notice that version 1.5 is making longer videos. We now have five seconds instead of three. In this video, we're on Pika's website to create videos, but you can still access Pika on Discord. There's a community over on Discord with prompt battles and more tutorials and challenges. If you want to use Pika on Discord, see this tutorial to get you started. Prompting AI videos starts a lot like prompting AI images. Describe what you want to see in the prompt box. but it's really important to add a verb. What's moving in the frame? And then add camera movements or effects. Keep your prompt simple for now. The AI video generators aren't quite as advanced as you may be used to with an AI image generator. or just drag an image into the prompt box and Pika will read the image and add a likely animation. No prompt necessary. If you're new to Pika, here are some common camera movements you can ask for. To show you these camera movements, I'm going to use a photo that I took in Cuba. Animating a still image is one of the things I love about Pika. You can zoom in, Zoom out, pan left, pan right. Notice that Pika adds content when moving outside the boundaries of the original photo. You can combine these for more complex camera motions. Do the motions work every time? Well, no, but you'll often get a surprising result. In version 1.5, Pika introduced a whole new set of camera motions. These motions create dynamic, professional-looking videos. You can prompt a new video or upload an image and apply the effect. With a vertigo shot, the camera zooms out or in, but keeps the subject the same size. 360 camera rotating the camera rotates around the subject. Crash zoom is a rapid zoom in or out, adding dramatic emphasis. A whip pan is a swift horizontal camera movement that blurs the image. In a bullet time shot, action appears frozen or in slow motion while the camera moves around the scene. Crane up moves the camera upward starting from a low angle. And crane down, the camera moves downward starting from a high angle. An FPV shot is a first-person view. And in clay effect, subjects appear as if they're made of clay. And you can combine any of these camera effects for more complex videos. But one of the coolest tools in Pika 1.5 might be the Pika effects. These are creative commands that you can add to your video prompts or apply them to animate still images. Think of these as magic verbs that Pika has programmed to do something extra special. Simply include one of the magic keywords as part of your text prompt, or select the effect from the Pika effect menu under the prompt box. You can melt it, 
squishify it, cakeify it, inflate it, crumble it, decapitate it, crush it. Notice how the effect only targets the foreground, the central subject. Levitate it, eye pop it, deflate it, dissolve it. Each effect comes with a sound if you want to use it. Do the effects work every time? Well, no, but they work enough. They may be visual tricks, but they're a lot of fun to explore. Currently, Pika is free to explore. You get 150 credits, which is about 10 videos. The videos are 16 by 9 aspect ratio with high def resolution, measuring 1280 by 720 pixels. With a paid plan, you get faster generations and a license for commercial use. Some plans also remove watermarks. In the paid plans, you also still have access to the old 1.0 Pika. This includes the lip sync and modify region tools. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Like Only Pika 1.0 generations can be upscaled at the moment. And in Pika 1.0, you can create videos in different aspect ratios. Text to video is still a bit hit or miss, but keep checking in. The AI is improving fast. Pyga has some video effect tools that you'll want to check out, and I especially love this program for animating images. Test out Pyga AI video and let us know your review in the comments below. If this video was helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Jen at Making AI Magic. Let's make something amazing together. <music>